This video will discuss military aircraft and compare two of the most famous transport aircraft that have made significant contributions in their respective wars. Military transport aircraft, often called military cargo aircraft or simply flown, are a type of aircraft owned by the military and used to transport troops and military supplies in support of military operations. Supply lines to forward bases that are difficult to reach by land or sea need the use of transport aircraft, which can be deployed for both strategic and tactical missions. They are commonly used to transport aid to victims of natural disasters. C-130J Hercules Tactical Transport Aircraft American aircraft manufacturer Lockheed Martin designed and constructed the four-engine turboprop military transport aircraft C-130 Hercules, now Lockheed Martin. The C-130 was first conceived as a troop, medevac, and freight transport aircraft due to its ability to use unprepared runways for takeoffs and landings. Aside from its usage as a gunship, AC-130, the airframe has been put to good use in a wide variety of additional duties, such as search and rescue, research assistance, weather reconnaissance, aerial refueling, maritime patrol, and firefighting from the sky. As a result, many armed forces throughout the world rely on it as their primary tactical airlifter. Over 60 countries use one of Hercules' 40 variations, including civilian versions sold as the Lockheed L-100. The United States was the first country to put the C-130 into service in 1956. Australia and other countries soon followed suit. The Hercules has been used for countless military, civilian, and humanitarian missions over the years. Cockpit a loadmaster and two pilots make up the C-130J's crew. For L3 systems with multifunction liquid crystal displays for navigation and flight control are included in the new glass cockpit. Each pilot gets a head-up display from Flight Dynamics, HUD. The dual mission computers, which are provided by BAE Systems IEWS, control and keep track of the aircraft systems as well as update the crew on their status. The Northrop Grumman low-power color radar monitor is installed in the cockpit. Digitally saved image data is displayed on the map. The Honeywell Dual Embedded GPS or INS Ground Collision Avoidance System, SKE-2000 Station Keeping System, Instrument Landing System, and Enhanced Traffic Alerting and Collision Avoidance System, ECAS, are all features of the C-130J. The following items were included in the baseline configuration of new C-130JS, according to an announcement made by Lockheed Martin in July 2008. The TACView portable mission display, the Interflight Commercial GPS Landing System Sensor Unit, and the Global Digital Map Unit from Elbit Systems. Cargo Systems the C-130J's cargo bay has a total usable volume of almost 4, 500 feet superscript 3 and can hold weights up to 16,880 kg, 37,216 pounds. As an illustration, consider three armored personnel carriers, five pallets, 74 stretchers, 92 combat troops with equipment, or 64 paratroopers. The bay is furnished with tie-down rings, cargo handling rollers, storage bins, and troop seat storage. Countermeasures The ATK and or AAR-47 missile warning system on the C-130 analyses and ranks threats using spectral selection, complex signal processing algorithms, and electro-optic sensors to find missile exhaust. Both in the tail cone and close to the nose, directly below the second cockpit glass, sensors are installed. The Super Heterodyne and Slash ALR-56M radar warning receiver from BAE Systems operates in the 2 GHz to 20 GHz bands. A low-band antenna and four high-band quadrant antennae are fitted in the tail cone and nearby the nose portion beneath the second cockpit glass. In addition to the POET and Gen X active expendable decoys, the BAE Systems Integrated Defense Solutions, 
Previously, Tracer and or ALE-47 countermeasure system may also dispense chaff and infrared flares. An adaptive infrared jamming signal with shifting frequencies is produced by the Lockheed Martin and slash ALQ-157 infrared countermeasure system. The main undercarriage bay fairing's rear end has a surface-mounted infrared transmitter. C-17 Globemaster Three Tactical Transport Aircraft McDonnell Douglas built the massive military transport aircraft C-17 Globemaster III in the 1980s and 90s for the United States Air Force, USAF. The C-17 is named after the Douglas C-74 Globemaster and the Douglas C-124 Globemaster II, both of which were piston-engine military transport planes that came before it. It can go across oceans and touch down on short runways. The pilot, co-pilot, and loadmaster can control all functions with the help of the electronic cockpit and the sophisticated cargo system. Cockpit! The C-17's cockpit has space for two observers and the pilot and co-pilot. The digital avionics system includes two fully functional heads-up displays, HUDs, as well as cargo systems and four multifunction cathode ray tube displays, MFDs, made by Honeywell. The electronic flight control system is so safe that it includes four independent redundancies and a fifth that is operated mechanically. Two Lockheed Martin mainframes, one Hamilton Sunstrand data management system and a pair of Honeywell aircraft data terminals are on hand. Northrop Grumman Navigation Systems has upgraded the C-17A's avionics with new mission computers, displays, and software for the warning and caution system. The automatic flight control system has been given a boost by installing BAE System CS Leo's real-time operating system, which has been approved to meet the standards of the GATM Global Air Traffic Management System. Cargo Systems the C-17 can transport a wide variety of vehicles, pallet freight, paratroopers, airdrop packages, and aeromedical evacuees thanks to its versatile cargo hold. Carrying big wheel and track vehicles, tanks, helicopters, artillery, and armaments like the Patriot Missile System is possible due to the cargo hold spacious cross-section. Each C-17 deployment cargo consists of three Bradley armored vehicles. It is possible to tow the M101 main combat tank used by the United States Army. With 18 pallet locations, including four on the ramp, the maximum payload is 77,519 kilograms, 170,900 pounds. The transport plane can perform lapse drops or low altitude parachute extractions from a safe distance. When used for medevac purposes, the C-17 can carry up to 54 ambulatory patients and their caregivers, as well as 36 litter patients. Countermeasures An array of surface-mounted thermal sensors known as N or AAR-47 are installed all around the C-17 to detect the thermal signature of missile exhaust plumes. Techniques for signal processing and frequency selection are employed to reduce the false alarm rate. The system alerts the crew of the presence and direction of the missile threat via the cockpit indicator unit. The ALE-47 dispenser immediately receives a signal. The N or ALE-47 is capable of transporting a variety of disposable defenses, like jammers. The system connects to the sensors on the C-17 Globemaster III aircraft. The dispenser can be operated totally automatically, semi-automatically, or manually by the aircrew. Mission information, as well as the variety and number of disposable countermeasure systems installed into the ALE-47, can be entered into the cockpit control unit. The dispenser status as well as the quantity and kind of countermeasures that are still available are updated and shown by the cockpit controller. In addition to the typical chaff and flare decoys that are compatible with the older ALE-40 and ALE-39 dispensers, ALE-47 can distribute the newer generation active expendable decoys Poet and Gen X.